Hi again everyone, this is Paul Hodgson from Box of Frogs here in Huddersfield, www.b for bravo, o for oscar, f for foxtrot, dot uk, dot com. This particular video is uh, going to be a very brief tutorial that shows you how I sometimes manipulate, uh, enhance, improve uh, my landscape work. So this is a shot in Greece uh, in 2009, from 2009 there's a couple of things uh, wrong with it. First of all the white balance is slightly off, it's a bit yellow uh, and the top right hand corner here has this bush tree thing growing into the frame so I want to get rid of that and I'm going to do all of that in NX2. I'm going to add some contrast, some sharpening and then simply save the image. So let's start with the white balance. My control panel over here I'm going to uh, set the white balance based on what it was on that particular day which is a lovely sunny day even though there's some clouds further away and you can see already a marked shift in terms of the correct appearance or at least to my memory at least and eyes the correct color of the day rather than that sort of yellow green yellow hue it's now uh, a much cooler uh, image in terms of its white balance I am using the picture control landscape which is available at uh, any of the Nik your your local Nikon site, uh, and you can upload that uh, picture control into your camera as well as into View NX2 or Capture NX2 that I'm using here. Uh, okay, so second thing I'm going to actually do is move down to the quick fix, the quick fix, the quick fix <laughs> um, section, and and using this uh, linear curve, uh, this linear line here, is add a very small tonal contrast curve. So. I know I've clicked on the curve, uh, sorry, on the line, and I'm dragging up, and I'm just watching the image. I do a lot of this by sight without without any sort of predefined cues as to what I prefer. It's what I like in the image. So a little bit of an S shape. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, quite liking that. I'll leave everything else just as is, and I'm done on that section there. So using my PC uh, keyboard, I don't know what the equivalent is on Apple. Control, Alt and 0 gives me a 100% view of my image. I know I'm going to have to go to top right which is where that tree was poking into the into the image and I'm going to come up here, I've actually already clicked the uh, this particular tool which is the healing brush or the re auto retouch there, Nikon call it. You could have simply have clicked on the uh, the letter R and it would have brought it up for you. I'm going to leave the brush at 100% and I'm now just going to simply paint with my uh, mouse. You can use a graphics tablet of course as well. I'm going to cover liberally, liberally everything that I want to try and get rid of. And then let go of the mouse And then I'm just going to move down a little bit because I know that I didn't get it all. So I'm just going to remove that. And now I'm just going to actually have a scan around where it's made that correction. And see here, there's a little bit of an oddity. So without painting this time, I'm just going to simply click. Just going to see what I'll, what adjustments it's making. That looks a little bit more natural. Let's have a look up here. Bit of a, an odd thing going on here. And I think this this stuff here looks okay. It's just just my own benefit really. Control zero takes me back to the main view. And you can see that over here on the palette section, the steps uh, menu that auto retouch is currently uh, engaged it's got this sort of yellowy orange line around it there's a tick there so if i tick if i unclick the tick it'll show me what was previously there put it back on again and it'll show me what corrections it's made and frankly you could leave it at that um what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to use the u control point technology or u point control technology um pop a spot here at the moment it doesn't really do anything, it's telling me down here that under this sort of silver dot here it's sampling this colour. So I am going to very gently just drop it a little bit, not a lot, 
just a bit and then clicking well first of all holding the alt key down on my PC keyboard and click and hold onto this silver button effectively what I'm doing there is I'm copying that specific adjustment now I can move it somewhere else and you can see that it's beginning to change the image if I do it again so I've let go of the alt key and the mouse I'm going to go back hold the alt key down click once and hold it on my keyboard sorry on my um, mouse move it over a little bit okay and if you want to see what adjustments what, what adjustment it has made alteration it's made to the image just click and let go now what I want to do here now is I'm starting to believe so I'm going to think maybe maybe I need to add a little bit of contrast to these clouds let them stand out a little bit more so not using either of these any of these three I'm going to take a brand new fresh viewpoint click it I'm going to this is the uh, the area of adjustment you can see that sort of uh, single they're not marching ants but the sort of ant line and I'm bringing it down towards the cloud this time we're going to add contrast a little bit of contrast Let's just have a quick look at the brightness no. maybe a little bit and then go back to what I did with these two, uh, these three items which is hold the alt key down click and hold with my mouse on the silver button and move over there let go of the mouse I can continue to hold the alt key down if I want to because I'm going to sample this again and move it over here and I'm going to come back to this one copy this one bring it back over here copy this one bring it over bring it over here copy this one bring it over to here and I can if I wanted to simply choose to ha add more contrast to specific um, of these adjustment steps or I can select them all all of these ones on the clouds and and, and literally just affect those spots for the clouds so let's what let's have a look at what adjustments what those adjustments look like And this one looks a little bit too much for me um, so I can just pop the brightness down a little bit so it doesn't stick out a little bit more like a th like a sort of thumb um, and for me do you know I think I'm pretty much done with that add a little bit of sharpening I've got a step set up already called uh, Hotto sharpen 3 um, again if you look at if you look at the image you might think it looks too much but I can assure you once you print uh, the the print the sharpened print looks magnificent give you some settings intensity 36 radius 12 threshold 4 and the opacity I leave it normal but I do drop it to 66 percent from there if it's a little bit too much I can add or subtract I can even take uh, an adjustment brush and paint in the sharpening to specific areas of the image what that's what what this step is doing at the moment is sharpening everything in the image that's it I hope you've enjoyed it I'm just gonna hit my tab key now I'm gonna go to the window no I'm not gonna go to view show you what the original looked like which is on the left and what the adjusted image looks like on the right that's taken me nine minutes in reality it would have taken me less than one minute to do those adjustments you could spend obviously a lot longer making adjustments to an image but um, I'd rather be out taking photographs and, and less post work hope you found something in this tutorial that's of interest leave me a note on my blog uh, or on Flickr or wherever you see this this tutorial also give me some examples of things that you would like me to cover otherwise I'm just going to end up delivering you sort of anything if if I have the capability I'll show you if I don't I'll just ignore your ignore your request have a great day and thanks again